So if you have not created your job yet, you must make your connection to your page. We will go to project and then just set up a project, which I've done before and other videos. So I'm just going to select the nearest video that I have. In fact, that is already open and we're going to go to config and go to connect to instrument immediately. And then I'm going to make a connection to my receiver. And let's just see if my Wi-Fi is picking it up. And this is the receiver I'm connecting to. So you just tap it, click on the back arrow and just say connect. So that will make a connection to the receiver. The receiver is connected. Now I'm going to set up the base and this is how you set up your setting to start on a known point base. So we go Genesis base new. I'm going to use the internal radio as the correction format and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this uh, known point base. Right. I like to use this specific CHC 516 uh, differential format. Everything else is fine. You can choose your channel, but right at the bottom it says start at the known position. Make sure that is switched on and then just say save. Now at this stage we cannot start over the known point because I don't have a coordinate for this point yet. So I'm just going to put in a coordinate while I'm actually setting up the base. Now it's not going to go through the whole process because we're indoors and the base cannot get proper satellite reception. But as I said, this is the principle. So we already taped off the height. So that is the setting. So we make sure that set at known position is active. All right. And then when we need to call this mode, we just tap it and we say accept. Then it will prompt us. If we want to add the point I'm about to type in into the database, I would probably say yes there. And then I would put in the height of instrument that I measured with my tape, which was 1.813, accept. Okay, and then you can also give this a specific name if you like. And I'm gonna type in the local northing as B456788, uh, that's enough. Uh, in fact, I need one more this value and then on the easting, I'm just going to use some value. And I'm saying this is going to be my startup location for this base. And you obviously have to give your, uh, your height above mean sea level. Uh, it's not happy with a double dot in there. So let's just get rid of the text dot. And put out our height. Uh, we're at about 154 meters above mean sea level where we at here in Cape Town. All right, and that's everything. So if I say okay now, this base will start. Now it's just telling me that it's not recognizing these coordinates based on where I typed it in. So it's already giving me some check to say, hey, you're far away from where you actually should be. So the GPS actually has some values. Um, so we could actually mimic that and type in those red GPS coordinates and use that as the position. But again, we are setting up over a known point. So the known point value should already exist. So you had to either import it or type it in from a piece of paper, but that's it. So if you've done this correctly, your base should start and it should start transmitting a very precise coordinate that you can use on your rovers and any rover listening at this point will actually get corrections in the reference to this point.